I came to Davidson in 1989 because of what I saw was a history of excellence. I found that this commitment to excellence permeates every aspect of life on this campus. Search every nook and cranny and you'll find that commitment alive, exciting, inspiring. And that's what makes Davidson so special. In bright living color, almost night after night, we see an example of excellence on our TV screen as we watch Steph Curry, uh, two-time MVP. And yet at the same time as being an MVP, he garnered votes to be named maybe the most improved player in the NBA. He's led his team to a world championship and now set the record for most wins in a season. That's excellence. It's excellence that is consistent. It's excellence that goes from one season to another and reminds me of a song, I Can't Be Content With Yesterday's Glory. And that's what Steph is, and that's what Davidson is. Isn't it fascinating how the model of excellence that the world of athletics puts on the stage every night is the same model of excellence that is part of the Davidson College experience. And I reflect upon what happened uh, in a week time period where he was named as the MVP of the NBA for the second successive year, while at the same time, uh, the magazine cover, Parent Magazine, he graced that magazine with his two daughters, Ryan and Riley. Uh, to see that complete package reach such a high level of excellence, and Steph does it as, yes, a basketball player, but he does it as a dad, he does it as a spouse, he does it as a son, he does it as a sibling. He does it as a teammate. He does it as a Davidson alum. That remarkable versatility, that remarkable consistency is what really defines what we are at Davidson. Something there is about this place that causes us to gravitate to each other, to remember each other, to be brothers and sisters linked by this Davidson College education. When you go to Davidson, you are connected forever. I often tell recruits that uh, the greatest thing about Davidson is that, yes, we create doctors and lawyers and we nurture historians and teachers and pro basketball players, uh, but perhaps the greatest nurturing we do is leadership. And what a great time for that. The time is now. Let's create more leaders. Let's make this world a better place.